that the cost of developing your initial prototype has dropped by 98% over the last decade. And that fundamentally changes the calculus for deciding whether to start a company. It fundamentally changes how innovation can happen with inside of large companies. And it can have an enormous impact on a community as well as a company as a result. So one of the things we try to do in a, in a large makerspace is attract as many of the innovators, entrepreneurs, and creators within a city. And, and by doing so, we actually create a place where they can hang out and work on projects together. And it's really the first time that most of them have become aware of one another, of the skill sets that are available within the community. And by aggregating that kind of knowledge and experience within the community, they actually start innovating at a much higher rate of speed and tend to have a lot more success. You know, 3D printers are very exciting, very interesting right now, and they play both to uh, kids who may want to get into uh, manufacturing on the blue collar side as well as engineering on the white collar side. I think this movement is a nice blend for like a high school where you'll actually have kids in the robot clubs as well as kids that are learning about plumbing will actually be working together side by side. So it's a very integrative approach and actually I think it's quite hopeful.